I was waiting for. I knew as soon as I hit the record button, oh, somebody would come out sorry, here. Sorry, I was going to make breakfast. It's all right. I knew it was coming. You set through me with the. Uh, you set with me through the printing for eight hours yesterday. I'm not gonna bitch at you about making me breakfast this morning. <laughs> I knew that was coming though. <laughs> mm. Yet again, another Royal Enfield video. What is up with you, John? <laughs> so, uh, good Sunday morning. As I am lazy and do not like to wash motorcycles, I am not riding today. You can see outside why. So we got going on uh, Facebook the other day, talking to a guy about a problem he was having with his um, accessory plug in the headlight housing on the uh, 650. Ended up making a video about it. If you're interested in how that thing works, go check out that video if you want. Um, the only reason I comment on that, mention it, is uh, I had a comment down below, and it's kind of similar to something I've gotten on other things. Um, is uh, he was like, "Hey, get on with it. You know, you're four minutes in before you even start talking about the thing." And it's yeah, yeah, I am. You know. Uh, if you're watching my video, you're hanging out in the garage with me, you know. If you don't want to watch it, don't watch it. I, I'm, I'm totally cool with that. If, uh... <clears throat> cat, she's sitting behind me. If you can make that video, and believe me, that's like a three-minute video. If you want to make it in three minutes, four minutes, make it in three or four minutes. I Absolutely, I'll watch your video, too. And uh, I'll probably thumbs up it, uh... I could have gone through and wrung all of that out and set up the camera angles beforehand and uh, even with a little bit of lively banter or a lighthearted banter, I don't know, whatever you want to say, I probably could have got that whole thing in at, at about five minutes and showed you what you needed to know. But uh, I, that's not what I'm here for. <laughs> you know, uh, if you're hanging out in the garage with me, you're hanging out in the garage with me and you just got to you know, hang out with me. Otherwise, don't go. Uh, one of the comments, one of the first times I got that comment was, uh, hey, you're not going to build a channel if you keep talking about politics during a motorcycle ride. People don't tune into a motorcycle ride to hear about politics. Well, well you know, my, my focus in life is pretty heavily on politics. I pay a lot of attention to politics. Um, both here in the United States and in Europe around the world, you know, I follow, I follow what's going on in France. I follow what's going on in the UK with Brexit and all that stuff. I follow uh, Hong Kong. I'm following that stuff. I'm watching what's happening with uh, Chinese influence in Australia. I'm watching the Belt and Road Initiative. Uh, if you're not watching that stuff, I, you know, I don't know. I don't know. It's it's important that we know what's going on, especially, especially when you have a vote and a say in what the most powerful nation on this planet does, you probably ought to know what's going on. Uh, if you think I'm foolish, you know, go read Alec de Tocqueville and, and the things he says about the early Americans. Anyway, history, politics, all that stuff. That's not what we're here for today. And now we're a few minutes in, and you still haven't got to the main point. <laughs> no, I haven't. That was on purpose. Black Rifle Coffee. 
really good. You can order it online. I don't know if you can get it overseas, but uh, you can get it all over the U.S. here. So, among other things that I did not know about, like the accessory plug in the headlight housing, I didn't even know that existed. I did not know that they had leaked the shop service manual for the 650s from the factory. I didn't know they had leaked that. And uh, I made that video and I referenced the uh, wiring diagrams in the owner's manual, the little fold out ones, and they're like that big when they're full. Well, you saw them in the video if you watched the video. They're like that big. Unlike, now we're getting to it, right? Unlike, check this out. Towards the back of the third one here. Towards the back of the third one, I have blank pages. I have 10 blank pages in sleeves. And the reason for that is so that I will have, um, the reason for that is so I will have the ability to make notes um, when I come across things in <laughs> some of the places I've worked. Uh, engineers have received blueprints with extra drawings by me. I've seen some of those be adopted I've seen some of them adapted and then adopted. Uh, we have service manuals for industrial equipment at some of my former employers. And uh, in the back, there's a drawing, you know, a three-dimensional, dra almost draft grade sketch of what I'm talking about. And then there's, you know, a half a page in notes. Just <clears throat> I took drafting in high school. Back near the index, if you can see that. Back near the glossary, just before the overall troubleshooting guides. Troubleshooting guides. And as I was doing this yesterday, the boys were learning how to use troubleshooting guides. It's very important. You have the reference. I'm going to focus this here. You have the reference for the plugs in the wiring harness. Man, there's a lot of glare there, isn't there? You have references for what they're shaped like. You have the overall where this stuff actually is on the bike. How cool is that? You have um, plug positions. There's more of this, right? <laughs> Are you getting excited yet? <laughs> This is making me happy just, just showing it to you. That's, you know, look at that wiring diagram. That's a full page right there, guys. Full color, too, huh? How cool is that? Every, oh, man, that's, that's full page. That's full page. I love it. There's several pages of this. Uh, more where it is in the bike. There's the positions of everything in the headlight housing with references to what fuse. So, <clears throat> in the link down below, or in the, uh, excuse me, in the description down below, there is a link to a Facebook group that is focused on these motorcycles. Um, that link is a link, or if it's not to the group, it's directly to the link. Oops, where oh, this was shared. <laughs> that's a lot, guys. And that's two-sided print. You saw that. That's two-sided. This is 731 pages, but this is no... Um, this is no uh, climber or, or chilt manual. This is... Um, this is the factory shop service manual. There's everything in there. Complete engine teardown, uh, troubleshooting. Excuse me. Troubleshooting for every component on the bike. A complete and total disassembly, teardown, reassembly, instruction step by step. This is gold right here. Like I said, until somebody said something... I didn't know. I didn't know it was even a thing. I don't. I follow that group. <clears throat> I 
I follow that group, but I don't follow it that closely. And I never saw that that had been leaked. I was just like stoked. So huge shout out and a massive, massive thank you to, uh, to my mate from Bristol, uh, Paul Messenger. Thank you so much for sharing that with me. That is so awesome. Um, he shared the link and I, he said, did you have any trouble opening it? I was like, I'll be honest, I didn't open it. I, I don't know who you are and I, I, you know, it won't give me a preview of the PDF and the link. And I just, I need my phone to work way too much for opening strange links. So I didn't even try it. Oh, you know, I understand. Yeah. And, and it is, it's this day and age, but, uh, we talked for a bit and I, I'm okay. The guy's all right. He's, he's a good guy. So, uh, and he is a good guy. Thank you. Thank you, sir. I really appreciate that. Much love on that. Much love and respect. Uh, that, that was awesome. Great share. Anyway, uh, got the thing downloaded and, uh, he sent me a picture where he had done this and I, I, I'm doing that too. <laughs> you know, even if you don't use the thing, uh, and I, as I was binding this, as I, we were printing it, let me tell you, we don't have a direct wire connection to our printer. We have a uh, Wi-Fi connection. So as we were going through, you know, it takes a minute to load each job. And I thought she would be able to load the entire PDF to a print job and then her walk away from it and then me spend, you know, a couple of hours pulling the pages out, verifying the numbers, putting them in the sleeves, putting them in the binders. I also thought I would only need one binder. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, Big shout out, Paul. I appreciate that. That was huge. Uh, had no idea that even existed. And now I have the factory shop service manual for the bike. That's just so great. It's full of the torque specs, guys. What you're supposed to tighten the, uh, what you're supposed to tighten the nuts and bolts and screws to. That's important if you get into, you know, mm, you know, any of the accessories that are mounted directly to the engine. The, um, if you have to pull the fuel injection system off, any of that stuff, anything that's got a gasket, having the correct gasket and having the correct torque spec, really important. If you do have to do any engine work to it, which, you know, for two and a half more years, I don't have to worry about that. We've still got the warranty. But the nice thing is, is uh, we lost our dealer here in town. And the nearest dealer is in Brea, which is down in the Los Angeles area. So I'm, I'm like two and a half, two hours, two and a half. It could be three and a half hours if you hit it during rush hour of loading the bike up in the truck, taking it down there, dropping it off, and then another two hours-ish coming back. And then I got to do all that stuff again to go pick the bike up and bring it home. So there's no fun. Uh, we don't have a local dealer anymore. That stinks. I'm really unhappy about that still, but this helps. And uh, as I mentioned in prior videos, I'm no motorcycle mechanic, but I have worked on my own stuff in the past. I can work on my own stuff in the future. And with this, I can do it correctly. And I, I'm just so stoked to have this. I wanted to go over with you guys real quick uh what that takes uh to do this and it was not cheap for me <clears throat> paul was saying he, you know he's got like 35 pounds into it which is like 40 45 dollars us that's pretty good price um it cost me a little bit more um so anyway, I'm going to go over this real quick and then I'll get off of here. If you hung with me, thanks for hanging with me. Like I said, these videos are, are more my entertainment in making them. Uh, there is a good thing that I can help you with this. If if I can, then it's good. If, if you know, you can't bear to hang out with me long enough to get the good information out of it, then, you know, I, I, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. 
but uh, these are more for me to most of these videos are just me wanting to go back and watch them later or you know um, I'll get into that in another video anyway what the hell are you doing cat well if there's something back there you kill it that's your job so on this receipt uh, are shown a few items you see that here on the receipt are shown a few items. Um, the first thing on the list is an LC2032 pack. And what that is, is a two pack of ink cartridges. We bought black ink cartridges. Um, this is just an example. There was something wrong with this sheet. So mom chucked it out. It didn't go in the book. Uh, these pages are, are in there, just not on not this one. So I used it to write some notes here on, on what I'm doing here. So, uh, uh, a two pack of ink cartridges, but as you can see, this is almost all black. That's all you're using is black. Um, you will use on these, uh, ink cartridges. Well, here's a picture of the printer that I'm using, uh, the model give you an idea. I hope, uh, so on this two pack, it was 47 49 and like the second one was cheaper because you were buying two so i just took that and split it in half uh we did use about a quarter of each of the colored ones because there are some color things in here you saw the wiring diagrams have colored lines um what i probably need to do is go through and duplicate that entire section entirely black and white because for me it's hard to see the yellow lines on the white paper so if those lines are completely black and white and then I can look at a black and white one and then cross reference it to the exact same thing with all color, that would help me. I might, I might end up doing that later. I've got plenty of paper, <laughs> but here's the ink cartridge. Uh, like I say, uh, on the ink cartridge, I bought a two pack. The second one is cheaper because of that. So I just split that in half because if that's available, that's available. So twenty three seventy five, and I did use an entire black ink cartridge. We used the last little bit of one, and then almost all down to leaving it where it was of the other. So twenty three seventy five for ink. Um, the next thing you'll see there is the protectors. Uh, Ng, there's two hundred per box i knew i was doing 366 pages because that's half of through 731 and there's 731 pages in the pdf i'm going to get to that in a second too <clears throat> uh, so i knew i was going to do 266 366 excuse me sheets so i bought two 200 packs uh together at $19.99 each together they were $39.98 uh, for the sleeves you might be able to get them cheaper but that's I, I bought them at the local office supply and that's what I saw them on Amazon for so I you know I, I think that's pretty much right around if you can get them cheaper do it because <laughs> that's expensive uh, the next thing you see on the deal is the binders uh, Office Depot stock number 208900. I bought these three ring binders. I bought one thinking it'll probably all fit and it did not even close. <laughs> I went back. Uh, ben filled in for me putting papers in the sleeves. Uh, Mom was printing. We'll get into that in a second too. Uh, ben filled in for me while I went down and got those other two binders to fill that out. Uh, last but not least is the paper color copy uh, $18.99 and for Arima paper you can get paper a little bit cheaper uh, most of us use 20 pound paper and uh, I didn't do that they had samples there on the shelf and I felt them and uh, I got the thickest paper that I was pretty sure my printer would process I got 28 pound and the reason I did that the reason I did that if you look at this there is light behind this and you can see some image bleed through on this page, but without light behind it or with less light, you can see hardly any image bleed through. 
because this paper's thicker and it's not quite cardstock but it's thicker so you can kind of see why I did that um, it gives it a little more heft it gives it a little more quality and uh, it makes it harder when you're looking at it uh, to see the image behind it with 20 pound paper even if this is setting on a even if this is sitting on another page and you're looking through the thing, you're going to see definitely the image that's on the second page. You might even see some bleed through the image that's on the next page. So that's why I did that 28 pound paper. I really highly recommend that guys. Um, you're going to spend the money on this and the difference for me between 20 and 28 pound paper, uh, in the non-recycled, I don't want, you know, an off-colored, I want a white. This is something that's going to live the life of the bike, right? Uh, it, it's important to me that it's quality. It's, you know, you're talking $5 more U.S. for that, so. Anyway, the whole job with the actual stuff I used, and I'm not discounting, I didn't use all of the plastic sleeves, I didn't use all of the plastic sleeves when you do this. Here's that plastic, the papers down the side of it. Um, I love this. This page is intentionally left blank. Is it now? Is it? Because you know. You, you <laughs> anyway, um, I didn't use all the plastic sleeves. I'm not going to go through and count individually. You know how many I have left. I'm not going to use them for anything else. So they're just sitting there. I did put 10 in the back with blank pages so that I can make notes. I mentioned that already. Um, I'm not going to go count those. I do have some of the ream of paper left because they come in 500 sheet reams. Uh, and uh, they come in 500 sheet reams. And like I said, I only used 366 pieces of paper. I took another 10 for blank pages. Um, I had a few waste. I'm not, you know, I'm not going to use that paper for anything else. The kids will use it now, so I'm still out that money. Um, but total, if you count the actual ink I used uh, with the paper, the sheets, the binders, and everything, I'm at $106.69 U.S. with tax. Local tax here has uh, the state rate and everything at eight and a quarter percent of whatever you buy, you pay tax. So. 115.49 with tax where I'm at 106.69. I think I think you can do better than that. I think you can do better than that. Oh, and you saw the actual out of out of pocket for doing it. I wouldn't have bought any cartridges if I hadn't done this. So I still did spend that money. Hmm. So I said I was going to mention this. It's starting to rain again. Well, it was been raining the whole time, sprinkling, but it's starting to actually come down a little bit. So um, I said I was going to mention this on the printing. <laughs> My wife, she told the thing to print the whole job, and it, it got 16 pages out, which is eight pieces of paper, and uh, it, it, it stopped. So, uh, aggravation. She sat there with me and loaded 10 pages at a time. So this is uh, her notes as we're going along. Two things we found out real quick was uh, the printer would only accept, you know, like 10 pages at a time. <laughs> So my wife is sitting there loading print jobs 10 pages at a time and preloading like three and four print jobs and then, you know, trying to keep up. And then I'm I'm putting them in the binder just because our, our connection, the way it is, if your computer connects directly to your printer, that's probably a really good idea. <laughs> it was terrible. Um on top of that, the reason the numbers, and you'll find out if you go to print this, the reason all these numbers is keeping track of the pages we're printing. What we noticed early on is the page number printed on the manual itself does not correlate to the page number 
in the PDF. As you're scrolling down through PDFs, uh, each page has a page number. One, two, however many are in the file. And that's the file page number. Uh, the numbers that are on the manual pages, the pages that they didn't print a number because there's like this, this logo, this doesn't have a page number printed on it. So the first, this whole book, and I think part of the second one, the blank ones do not have page numbers on them. I'm going to flip you around and bring you down and set this on the ground so that this is easier on me. Let's do that real quick. So here we go. Sorry for the glare and the shadows, guys. So your opening page, uh, looking at the book, is one on the PDF. This is one in the manual. This is two. So already you're off. This page is intentionally left blank. Uh, but it, is it though? <laughs> this is page three, but page four. This is page four, but page five. This page is intentionally left blank. That one's not. No part of this service manual shall be copied, <laughs> distributed, or otherwise dealt without the express permission in written form from Rowling Fields. So whoever leaked this on the internet, you, you opened yourself up to potentially uh, big trouble. And uh, I hope they don't come after you, but thank you for sharing it. Um, page five, page six, right? We're getting there. Page seven, page eight, page nine, page 10. Now that doesn't have a number on it, but it correlates. Later on, as you're going through, there's 11 and 12. Like I say you're already one off. As you're going through, this is the tools you'll need to work on your bike. Uh, there's 21. This should be 22. It is. That's 23, 24. Come on. I want to prove my point. 28. Oh, I got a page backwards, didn't I? Yeah, no, here, here it is. 27. This should be 28. This was the big hang-up, but it's not. This is 28. So now you're two off. Then 29 doesn't exist. Then 30. So now you're three or four off. Whatever you are off. Uh, so that there's that hiccup early on. Let's see. I was even now, I was thinking I messed up so they and you see this isn't in the middle where it belongs so something happened there in the printing they deleted a page or whatever then you're at 31 this is 32 and I think it does it again yeah 33 34 I think it straightens up from there on let's come back up here well there you go A little bit of hiccup with the page numbers. We finally got it under control. Mama, Mama kept track of it, like I showed you on that paper. Um, like I said, shout out Paul. I saw that uh, that picture that that I shared there that he had. He said it was okay to share that. I saw that. I, thought, I want I want to do that too. And. Uh, if you want to do it that way, and I highly recommend the thicker paper, and I recommend the plastic sheets. That way you can flip through the book. If your hands have oil or grease on them, they get on the plastic, not on the paper, and then you can wipe that off and clean it. Um, if you want to go cheaper and you want to go smaller, you can do this entire print job on standard thickness paper and three-hole punch it and probably fit it all in one binder save you a lot of money uh, it's not going to save you much on ink but 23 23 25 bucks on ink you're not you know spending that much money anyways um, save you a little bit on binders but i wanted it to be nice so i might move all of this over later to a taller binder a taller ringed binder like you saw in paul's pictures <laughs> so it's all in one book but uh 
I have a screen on my wall. It's the first flat screen television we ever purchased. It's 420p. It's a plasma. It's good enough for this kind of stuff. I can hook a laptop up and drag that file up on there and uh, have it mirror my my screen on my laptop. So um, I'll probably do that a lot because I can zoom in and look at it from across the room. Uh, and for what we paid for that TV back in the day, you know, four or five hundred bucks on Black Friday. <laughs> um, honestly, for that kind of money, you can go get a 50 inch in 4K these days. I mean, it's, it's unbelievable how cheap TVs have gotten. And I might do that. I very well may do that. I don't know. But uh, I like, you know, like, thing is why have the paper back up when you can do that and, and that's probably the way I'll do it most of the time is because I can look at it from across the room but the paper backup's good if the power's out or something you can go open the book and you can still access that stuff so highly recommend the paper backup also to me uh, having this along with all your service records for the bike if you ever go to sell the bike it increases the resale value of the motorcycle all vehicles uh, if you can share the maintenance history uh, down to everything including put tires on them. if I'm looking at that and I'm looking at buying that vehicle used and I see that that guy's taking care of it on the maintenance schedule and he's got the service manual like this that's that's oh man now I really want that bike so so that's a thought that's a consideration it's a good reason to print this out and have it Highly recommend doing it this way, though. You can go cheaper. You can do it for less money and uh, less space and less effort. But you know, you kind of you get what you pay for on some of this stuff. If you don't put any effort into it, you know. We say you go touch the pages and you don't have that plastic protection. You get oil or grease on it. You can wipe it off with this, with just paper. You can go back. I, you know, and I guess you could really you could just go back and reprint the. Um, Reprint the page if you ruin the page. That's a thought, too. You could go cheaper, but hey, I, this is the way I wanted to do it. So it's a good setup. Anyway, I hope that was helpful to you guys. I hope you enjoyed hanging out. Like I say, if, if you don't want to hang out, don't hang out. Don't watch a video. <laughs> hope you had a good time with me. Uh, I had fun doing this. Towards the end of yesterday, putting this book together was not fun. We were starting to kind of both go, oh, or this was over with. But, you know, you're almost done, so you just go with it. But, and hopefully the rain lets up and I can go ride my bike. We're already well into the afternoon here. <laughs> so, well, there you go. That's my service manual video. Uh, hope you enjoyed it. You guys have a good one. Ride safe. Keep the rubber side down. And we'll catch you on the next one.